so it's great to have some images of older women represented. Well, I was intrigued because uh, they're very unusual and identified because I'm a woman of over a certain age, over 60. So it's great to have some images of women, uh, older women represented with it. Oh look, there's someone doing a handstand, so I, I definitely identify with that. Oh, <laughs> I still do a handstand. And there's one, that, I think that's my favourite, the one that's coming up now, which is of an older woman without wigs or doing anything funny it just is some this is how i am i thought they were they were interesting it was nice to see they were quite positive and um i thought i thought they're quite interesting a nice range of them as well there's quite there's some of them were quite different some of them look quite sort of thoughtful where others looked a bit more like um i don't know fun i like the one where uh, she stood on her head i thought that was funny because it proves that you know i don't know you wouldn't expect an old lady to be stuck in life, really, do you know what I mean? I think the thing that I've, I've thought most is that the women who've been involved in it seem to be giving positive images of, of themselves rather than somebody sort of taking an image and saying, look, this is a positive image, that there seems to be a bit of control over what images have been used and how they've been used. Um, and I've quite liked that. And I think you know, some people have made collages and you can't quite see who they are, but I think that definitely seems to be their choice. And I think um, it's important, the choices we have in how we're represented as well as being represented. So I don't think it's kind of like a social necessity to project images of older women around Sheffield. Um, but I do kind of think that maybe it's a, it's a statement to kind of redress some kind of balance. And I've had lots of conversations about how many images of young women there are in, in Sheffield that we just take for granted. And I think maybe there's a, a question, bigger questions to be asked about how we portray people and, and what control people have over the images with sort of young women, older women and, and, and men of all sorts, I think there's a, lots of power in, in imagery so to take a bit of that power back for yourself seems to be a really good thing to do. But like I say, I don't think we should be projecting pictures of older women <laughs> down Sheffield every night. I don't know if that redresses the balance, um, but I do think it's great to sort of see something a bit different. I think it would be really good if the public saw that we need to change the perception of all the people because I think uh, we are just flooded by images of young attracting people. I think very many people feel insecure when they look in the mirror and they don't look quite the same. So I think this would make many people feel better about themselves, which would be great. I thought they were very positive images, uh, very, very positive. They're all very happy women who seem very comfortable in their own skin, which I think is fantastic because it's not something you see every day, uh, especially the manner in which we view them, like just walking through the park this evening and they're being shot on the side of the building, I think is fantastic because it's such a way to draw you in and just get you to look at the subject in a completely different light little story about how she, this lady was told off when she was younger for showing her knickers and this is kind of her way of getting back at that and I think fantastic. Yeah, yeah I very... feel like all these, just putting all these stereotypes on his head. An elderly woman can be still playful and enjoy life and be silly and play around, I think it's great. We're all going to be getting old at some point, it's something that every person shares in common and you know it's, it's really important I think that we address this kind of negative light that we uh, we look at the elderly with and so I think a uh, project such as this is definitely a, a great way to do that. Well I think it's important that we just see older people more as who they are, the people who are contributing to society, people who are having active lives, living longer, but I don't think that's really represented in the media and I think um, in a way it's not an obligation that the media represents life, but I do think if people start to vanish, then people's issues start to vanish and parts of society vanish and that they're not seen or we only see very negative images and that builds a, an idea of what people are up to and what people are doing, which is a bit false and maybe a bit dangerous.